So I have been really super busy. I have been working on a seven book, seven CD series. If you have Idiot Savant, that is the first CD that goes with the first book. So I'm going to be writing the first book and then I'm going to be doing six books after, six CDs after. They all work together. They're one huge story. The first book is about Ian, the nine-year-old savant, and it's set in the 1930s. And there will be uh, six other kids from six other countries, and but they all tie together. It's one great big story, and I'll let you know the name of it later. So that's what I'm working on. Last month, I went online to see if there was a good community where I could not only hang out with my community more and do some of my crappy work less, but I could also share the details of what I'm doing with you a little bit more in real time, but I had to be able to afford to do it. And there's lots of crowdfunding sites and I have used some other sites like that before. Bat wants out. Oh, she's such a good baby. <laughs> I've used some of those other crowdfunding sites before. And um, I found that this site, the cool part of it was that um, it, it's actually, from a financial standpoint, they take less of a percentage from their artists, so the artist gets paid more. And it's a site where I can give you guys rewards on different levels, so that if you can only give a dollar per month, then that's cool, they have that as an option. If you can give five dollars, ten dollars, whatever, you can do that as well, and you can set up rewards for that. So far it seems pretty cool. I appreciate your feedback as we keep going on this we, because I want to make sure that everybody's cool with, with the community set up like this. It's going to allow me to get away from some of the other work that's stealing my creative time. This project is just way too big. It'll take me 50 years to do it properly if I have to keep doing some of the other work as well. So, and as you know, I'm an independent artist and as you may know, I don't know if you know that, <laughs> I'm an independent artist and I'm not signed to a record label and I'm not signed to a publisher at the moment and I, uh, I'm doing this just from my home in my playground room and this is where I am, I'm in my playground room right now so you can see some of them, like my wings from the Juggernaut video and stuff up there, there's my uh, hat back there from the, from the Playground Isolator record. So I'm doing this as an independent person. So. If you are able to give so much a month to see this project through, this is really awesome because it's a story of compassion, it's a story of kindness, it's a story about animals. There's going to be hundreds and hundreds of animals in, in this story and they're going to be, some of them are going to be steampunk, um, the, there's going to have instruments that are part skeleton, part instrument that's going to be set in the 1930s. So there's going to be some things in New York, there's going to be some things in Japan, there's going to be some things in Germany, uh, just all over the world but it's going to take a center location at a place called Rattenbury Lane. And Rattenbury Lane is where the kids can go be themselves. They can uh, put together a strategy to take back the things that belong to them, to uh, get the animals that are going to be there, to get the things back that they need to get back. It's just going to be this amazing, amazing um, story that I'm going to be putting out there. And I really believe it, the way the world is right now, which is, you know, seriously pretty screwed up, <laughs> I really believe that if we escape to creativity, if that creativity can make a difference in the world, then our time is not wasted. And I'm, I also believe that it's a way to get away from depression, it's a way to get back on the playground, it's a way to reunite with our inner child, all the things you've been hearing me about, me talk about. I'm really excited, can you tell? <laughs> and, and I'm just, I'm so thrilled that we have almost 40 people, I think, now uh, involved in this project to see it through to its fruition and hoping it will be fruitful. <laughs> so if you haven't had a chance or an opportunity to pledge so much per month, I hope you will do that and I'm going to have some cool rewards. I'm also going to be adding more rewards. So even though I only have it up to $5 right now, if you can give more, that's great. And I will be adding rewards for more like if you give $10 or $50 or whatever you want to give. So if you have ideas about that, let me know as well. So I'll sign off right now. I'm going to post a video, by the way, later on where I'm going to be doing a weekly draw. So anybody who has put in $5 or more is going to have their name put into a weekly draw. And that will be for Steve or Merch so that I'll mail you stuff, okay? Um, that's about it for now. You, the the babat is hanging out with me here. Hey, babat. Hi. <laughs> 
and uh, this is where I'm going to be doing my writing at the the writing desk over here. See that? That's <laughs> where a lot of stuff's going to take place. You can see some of my uh, my creepies up there. So give me your ideas, okay? I'm really excited to hear from you, and I'll post the video with the winners of this week's draw a little bit later today, okay? Have an awesome weekend, and I'll jump back on camera really soon, okay? Rock on.